Okay, let's take a look at the major effects of this Reformation. The first and foremost, the Catholic Church split. The Reformation was successful and enough areas and countries became Protestant that it was a long-lasting split and so then there was a new Protestant branch of Christianity uh, that would spread in Western Europe and around the world. It did not happen overnight and in fact not even in decades and while the split was happening there was sectarian conflict and violence. It, it was not necessarily a peaceful split, oftentimes going back and forth in some countries. Some countries became firmly Protestant, uh, such as the, uh, the German area, and had a very strong Protestant identity. Some countries went back and forth for quite a while, um, such as England and France, but they were going back and forth for decades. Some countries decided to uh, remain firmly Catholic, such as Spain, uh, Portugal, and the Italy area. And there were some benefits to remaining uh, firmly Catholic. There were some benefits uh, for going Protestant, too, for the, the leaders of the country. Uh, those countries that remain firmly Catholic uh, had favor of the Pope, and, and so the leaders that remained Catholic got the power of the Roman Catholic Church behind them to keep their power. So it was almost eventually a win-win for whichever way a uh, leader decided to go. Um, another effect of the Reformation is that the Catholic Church did their own counter-reformation. So the Catholic Church uh, decided to reform their own religion, and to put it simply, they just became more Catholic. They focused on what made them different uh, than the new Protestant religions. Uh, it was a, a time to look at their structure, to remold the Catholic Church in how they wanted to uh, to make it go going forward. Um, some of the main ideas is uh, more education of the clergy, more reinforcement of uh, their own teachings. And a really big thing that came out of the Catholic Reformation was the desire for uh, Catholic missionaries to spread the Catholic religion. And this made a lot of sense. If so many uh, people were turning away from the religion and becoming Protestant, then it seems that to retain uh, numbers and, and to grow, there would have to be uh, missionaries whose job it is to convert people, whether, to, whether it's to uh, convert uh, Protestants, or more specifically, to spread the Catholic religion into areas that didn't have it before. Um, if we're in the 1500s, which is when the Reformation and the Counter-Reformation happened, well, that's right along time, the time when Spain and Portugal were getting into Central and South America and later into Africa. And so uh, missionaries went along with the Spanish and Portuguese and introduced the Catholic religion to Central and South America and then later into a lot of places of Africa. That's why you see a lot of areas in Africa are Catholic and over 95% of everyone in um, Central and South America are not just Christian but the Catholic religion. Overall we see a growth of Christianity um, and this comes from the desire to spread uh, but it also comes from now, there's a version of Christianity for virtually anyone who wants to be Christian. So if someone wants to be Christian but doesn't like one of the existing Christian churches, there is a new branch. And so we see even within the last 50 years, um, new local areas and new churches springing up that are now in the Protestant branch. And so as long as a group of people 
uh, wish to hold to the fundamental tenets of Christianity, which is Jesus and God, they, they don't have to go right into um, an existing branch of Christianity. Now that the Protestant Reformation happened, there's always a place under the umbrella of Protestant where someone can uh, choose an existing church or form their own way of worshiping. And so that leads to an overall growth that in the Catholics wanting to uh, uh, spread and grow with missionaries, that leads to an overall growth since uh, the mid 1500s of Christianity. And those are the major effects of uh, the Reformation.